I promised you as soon as I got any updates on Wizard with a Gun, I would throw them across your way, so here we are. So just to get out the way, I don't have any in-game footage, but I do have a couple of pictures that we're going to be having a look at. And also a big thank you to Patrick, who has been kindly enough to provide this information. So to answer one of the biggest questions that was asked, which was what was the soundtrack that went behind the wonderful trailer? It is called Breath and Bone, and you can Google it and listen to it to all your heart's content. And I'll even make your lives a little bit easier and put it in the description below. So let's start off with the UI shot that was put up. This is a placeholder, so don't get too excited. Nothing getting set in concrete just yet, but it does give you a few hints on what you may expect. Let's start off in the top left hand corner and we can see how the armor system is panning out alongside weapons as well. So the armor slots that are available, there is an amulet or a neck piece. There's the hats which we already know about, they come in multiple forms and fashions and are really stylistic. Then there's the third icon, now I don't know quite what this is, I thought it might be like a brooch or a bandana but currently all I can see is it looks like a little triangle but it is it looks like another accessory slot for your character. Then we have some pretty traditional stock stuff, so we've got gloves, we've got a chest piece, there's also a backpack slot and there's also boots. And I really like this because there's multiple parts to your armor, there's lots of opportunity for upgrades and having different builds. And for all those who are into transmogs and looks and feel of your character, this will be really good because it will allow for lots of customization. Now moving on to more exciting bits, we can look at the weapon slots. So I do have some additional information that wasn't disclosed before in terms of the weapon systems. So as you can see, there are currently two weapons in the slots. There's a small pistol and there is a rifle. And for those who are wondering how many different types of weapons there are in the game, there are four types. So there is the pistol, which we see there. There is a rifle, but there's also a shotgun and a submachine gun. And each of these plays a different role in the game so that they have their own specific uses. And the last thing I want to talk about here in this slot is you can see something which is quite clearly a potion slot. So I imagine that's for various buffs and more importantly healing if you need it. Below that you can see the inventory system that they've got and there's a, like a whole multitude of things in there. We've got some wood and looks like rocks and leaves. And if we go down below we can see three different types of bullets. Now if I'm speculating going from left to right I would say that the one on the left is either some sort of fire type bullet or the force bullet that they were talking about, the physics one that they balanced with ice. Going on to the middle one, it looks like a bullet with little ghosts coming out of it. So maybe it could be some sort of spirit bullet or bullets that scare people when you shoot them. And then the next one is a like thunderous like bullet. So maybe it's an electricity bullet that you fire into people, some sort of extreme arcane bullet. And then last but not least, there is some sort of ingredient resource that looks like it relates into the crafting system, which we'll get onto in a minute. Now lastly I want to show you some of the resources that have been put up on the Discord. I just wanted to showcase them. None of this of course has been finalised or said that it's going into the game so take it with a pinch of salt but I thought they looked really pretty. And you can see kind of the imagery that they're going for. So you've got kind of these wood and they've got various bits of goo and bits and pieces on the floor and animal bones and some sort of vegetation and even like a random bell and a brain tree by the looks of things. But the big takeaway for me is just how clean and pretty everything looks. So let's talk about the crafting bench quickly while we're here on the right hand side. So if you have a look at the bottom you can see the weapon and there are two slots. So my guess is that a weapon can have two different ammo types. So having studied the bullet in great detail for a while I have discerned the following things and again it's just speculation but my educated guess. So on the right hand side is the bullet's casing and I'm guessing that determines how many modifiers that you can use in your bullet. What I am confused about and I'm still not sure is if that top icon that says bullet is the tip of the bullet that determines its type or whether or not that is referring to the whole bullet. But I'm going to guess that it is the tip of the bullet and then below it is all the various modifiers that kind of add to the attributes of the bullet itself. And as you can see on this bullet casing there are up to five modifiers that you can have. And if I was to take a guess going from top to bottom I'm guessing that top one is power, 
and then how accurate it is, then how fast it is, and then the next one is the element type. Whether or not these are customizable or fixed slotted, maybe you can put like five fast fragments in there and make a super fast bullet, or you know, you just have to have one of the type to make a said bullet. All speculation, but still really cool stuff, and I'm really, really excited to see kind of the modifications and the fun stuff that you can make. So that's all I have in terms of armor and guns and bits and pieces. So now I have a little bit more information on the co-op and how it will work. So someone did ask, will there be a split screen? Currently, the answer is no. Most of the engineers are working on getting the online version working and working out all the nuances with the netcode. I also have some additional information on how the survival element works. So unlike a traditional survival S game, there aren't going to be features like hunger and thirst, for example, because in Wizard with a Gun, it's all about the worlds. And what I mean by this is the team has said, when you die in a world, you add more chaos to it. And when you add more chaos to a world, you bring it a little bit closer to the brink of destruction. So essentially, if you die enough with your team, the whole world is going to come to an end. And this then fed into the kind of ethos that they have been sharing, it, which is it's all about keeping the world alive or at least harvesting enough materials from it to progress before the world dies. And then this feeds into the tower system where you roll back time or reset the worlds and you end up with a new biome to explore. Which sounds really, really cool because it is a step away from the traditional survival system. And last but not least, some people have asked how many hats there are going to be. And the devs answer was brilliant because they said they're just going to fit in as many hats as they can. Apparently they're putting designs and bits and pieces on post-it notes. So at the moment it is an unknown entity, but I'm guessing from what they said it's going to be a whole bucket load. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. This is all that I have dug up. A big thank you to the dev team for providing this information to go through. I will leave you with a small animation of a Cthulhu-like enemy that may go into the game. And I hope everyone is well and have a great week. I'll be back with more news as soon as I can. Thank you again for all the well wishes and uh, yeah, take care.